a joint investigative report by Ghana Center for Democratic Development and Democracy in Africa has unearthed widespread corruption and capture of the state in Uganda by mafia networks that work in their own interest rather than that of the public. So according to the reports, mafias are in control of Ugandan state. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us live on Projan Media TV. A kind of, let's take more look into this. The report on corruption, clientelism, criminality and subversion of democracy in Africa shows a disturbing web of influence exerted to government institutions by a powerful family of President Joel Kagotam Seven Chams. The report does not provide proof of criminal wrongdoing by President Museven himself, but it presents more than enough evidence to suggest that these wealthy benefactors showing that Uganda's shadow state is run by an axis of President Museven's family and the country's military aristocracy. Along with a select number of interlocutors, in the business community. The report also pins President Museven on repeatedly issuing tax, uh, tax waivers to his family members and other business allies in return for financial contributions to his election campaign, denying the Treasury hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue and reducing the funds available for health and education. Using evidence from new interviews, data collection, and network mapping, a team of 10 researchers have revealed that the extent to which political and economical decisions in Africa, democracies are shaped by individuals or groups that are often unelected and work to subvert the formal institutions of the state to push their own interests and agendas. Together, the reports demonstrate that in many but not all African countries, some of the most important political and economical decisions are not taken by individuals accountable to citizens, but by networks comprising insiders in the executive, political fixers, the president's family, judges, businessmen, senior civil servants, military leaders, and international financiers, among others. In a number of cases, these networks traverse national borders either through deep ties to international companies or through integration into transnational organization criminal networks so that significant resources are taken out of the country. According to Professor H. Kwasi Prempe, Executive Director of CDD Ghana, rather than a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, democracy in Africa, including the legitimacy it confers on governments, appears captured to serve interests other than the people's thus leaving many people increasingly questioning democracy's relevance. The future of democracy in Africa depends on our ability to reverse this picture. On his part, Nick Chisman, professor of democracy at the University of Birmingham said, the growth of shadow states, powerful networks of unelected individuals that use their access to the government to pursue their own interests at the expense of public represents the most significant political challenge facing African countries today and is the root of cause and is the root cause of the democratic backsliding that they have seen in many states over the last 10 years. John Githongo, a noted Kenyan anti-corruption campaigner, was also of the view that these reports represent the most comprehensive and insightful analysis of the way that democracy and economic and subverted in Africa is available to date. They reveal that shadow states and democracy capture are the root causes of corruption, inequality, and development failure. The countries covered in this project include Benin, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ghana, Kenya, Mozambique, Nigeria, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Uh, well, that is it for now. Uh, according to the sources and according to new reports, it shows that mafias are in control of Ugandan state. Uh, we'll keep on updating with more of this. Just kindly do one thing. Subscribe and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching ProGen Media TV.